Hi guys, welcome back to another MD video. Today we are going to be working on my brother's BMW Z3. We're going to be replacing and fixing the bushings in the seat rails that causes the seats to rock back and forwards. Check it out. Okay, so let me show you quickly what the issue is. If you look at the seat and I just grab it here. it's uh, completely loose. So what happens is there's little plastic bushings, uh, shims basically, inside of the runner that gets worn out through time and that causes play in the seat as uh, you know you move it backwards and forwards. So what we're gonna have to do is take the seat out and uh, replace them. So let's get to it. So firstly we're gonna take the uh, seat belt off off the seat, we're gonna remove that, that bolt. We'll move the seat completely forwards, um, remove the two bolts, one on each side on the runners um, at the back. Then we're gonna shift the seat completely to the back and then we'll take out the two front bolts and then we should be able to lift up the seat, uh, disconnect the two connectors, I believe, um, and then take it out of the car. <music> That seat is heavy. Anyway, got it out. I uh, just had a little issue with the uh, plugs. They were underneath the um, kind of the brace, the runner housing. So I had to loosen one of the, the nuts at the bottom of the, the seat and just bend it or push it open slightly. And so I could fit the, uh, the little plug through and then I just tightened it back up. But the seat's out, it's actually, it's quite heavy. It's a lot heavier than I thought. Um, but now we can get to fixing it. Okay, we are now able to remove these two Torx bits. This will allow the runner to slide forwards and then there's one big one right in there. We'll be able to remove that and we can uh, pull out the inside of the runner and get to the bushings. <music> That is the remains of the bushings. There should be one on this side and on the other side. As you can see, it's completely disintegrated. So what you want to do now is unscrew the, uh, the threaded rod from this part. But you need to remember how many turns the thread was in there. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of masking tape on the end, um, on the inside of it. So I have a marker to remember when I put it back that's where uh, I need to stop. So let's do that. So here are the new shims that are gonna go in to this little housing. So there's two of them. One needs to go on each side. See, they don't fit at the moment, so you need to sand them down ever so slightly. Um, I actually made these because I don't know where to get replacement parts for this thing. So what I got was this solid nylon, um, like a washer, which I cut in half, sanded it down with the Dremel, cut off the edges, made it flush, checked the fitter, and uh, made sure everything fits together. So basically, that's my workaround. Um, if you can get replacements for yours, much better, much easier than what I'm doing at the moment. But I gotta sand them down ever so slightly and then I'm gonna use the vise to press it in and get a snug fit. There we go, first one done. So let's get this uh, threaded rod 
back in there and see how it lines up. So there's a little hatch in there. When you put the slider or the, the threaded rod back in, you gotta push that down just slightly with a, uh, a flat screwdriver so that you can get it slotted back into the rod and then you should be able to line up your, uh, your torque bits, uh, screws and you can tighten it down. That took a minute, but we are done with the first one. So let me show you quickly. This is the the other side. You can see this. Let me just hold this thing steady. See that play? And now the other one, solid as a rock. So now I've got to repeat the process. Take this one out, make shims for it, uh, cut that thing in half, the, the uh, nylon washer, put it in, then we can put the seat back, I'll catch you then, and then it's pretty much rinse and repeat for the other side, um, for the driver side, so, well, I'll see you when I put the seat back, so let's jump to that time. There we go, seat is back in. It's no more wiggle. Yes, success. Cool, now same process on that side, but uh, I'm not gonna show you that. This is gonna be a long, boring video if I show you the same process over and over again. Anyway, that's gonna do it from me. So if you like this uh, fix on this BMW Z3, you got the same issue, now you know how to fix it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.